What's up guys, Franco Mobile Homes here and today we're gonna talk a whole lot about mobile home skirt. This is where we show you the ins and outs and everything there is to know about mobile homes. It is truly our mission to transform lives through mobile homes. So thanks for watching Franco Mobile Homes. Why it's important, how you can use and develop skirting to raise the value of either your mobile home park or your mobile home in general. Let's talk about it. Okay guys, so what is skirting? Skirting is the protection of the underbelly of the mobile home. So very common in the mobile home industry and in mobile home parks, these homes are typically about two and a half feet to three feet above the ground level. So there is a bit of space between the home and the ground. And the skirting itself is what's, what covers that up. It protects it. Uh, from animals using it as shelter. It also protects it from wind and debris. Uh, it has the insulation level that keeps the underneath of the home from the outside elements of rain and even temperature. So let's talk about different tiers of skirting. You know, of course, because mobile homes have a long history from the 60s, uh, these there's different levels of skirting and different tiers. There's styrofoam skirting. Let's start from the, the cheapest to what's now modern, right? So there's, there's styrofoam skirting, which you'll see in this video here. So this right here is an example of a very old fashioned mobile home. This is actually styrofoam skirting. It's a very light material. <laughs> and it's exactly what you would think, like the packaging of styrofoam that's been molded to look like brick. So there's styrofoam skirting, there's brick skirting, uh, and then there's vinyl and metal skirting as well. This right here is a metal skirting. Very thin material. Uh, as you can see, it's bendable. It can get dented at times. But what really, what really tends to happen, and just the same as our mission to create sexy mobile homes, is we try to modernize old-fashioned mobile homes uh, like these ones where it obviously looks like a trailer and how do we make that look more modern and essentially make it look more like single-family homes right so how do we eliminate that effect of that trailer uh, and get as far away from that as we can to ultimately make it look like a modern single-family home uh, how do we eliminate that trailer look is faking that there is no skirting and what i always explain is how can we make this look like the body and the ground isn't separated so how do we make that look as close to uh, a residential home that's completely connected to the ground as possible one is getting rid of that metal skirting or vinyl skirting or the styrofoam skirting so that's what we're doing here today we're doing the removal of this skirting and replacing it with a matching uh, this is a ugly yellow, but we're actually gonna paint this to a new color. But what we're gonna do is remove this metal skirting, replace it with a fiber cement material, and then ultimately make this look like a flush, uh, a flush home with the same color and make it look like uh, as close as, it, as we can make it to look like a residential home. Because that's what we're doing with our company is trying to create that big interior change with mobile homes as well as the exterior change, okay? I'm gonna show you a little bit of stuff here. What, ends up ha what we ended up doing is we took out that metal exterior, uh, that metal, there's the metal right there. That's the metal skirting that we took out. And then now, now that we took the metal exterior off, we are creating a termite barrier. This barrier between the home and the ground is actually this treated wood that's speci specially treated so that termites cannot go from the ground up, okay? So now they've installed this wood, uh, wood base for the skirting right here. And then we're gonna attach these wood plank, uh, these fiber cement planks to that to fill in, to make this look like a flush wall. Uh, and once we do that, it'll look closer to a residential home from that point. This is that gap in between. So you don't want um, animals or anything really going underneath the home. 
because there's a the the layer of insulation under the home is what keeps is what really keeps the outside elements from entering the home so keeping this protected is very important so sealing that off is important as well um, but as you can see we're taking it at one phase at a time we took out that metal skirting from there and we're replacing it with this and then ultimately we're going to have a flat plank all throughout the home and this is going to look all nice we're actually going to make it a bluish gray home so let's recap a little bit um i would say brick and actually this is going to be dependent on the area the area of the mobile home park or the mobile home itself uh, and it'll also be dependent on the value of the homes of what the tiers are going to look like for uh, skirting but at the bottom level typically you'll have styrofoam skirting which they don't even make anymore uh, as well as brick and then you have vinyl and metal skirting which is a very thin and cheap material but it does the job uh, and neither of them are wrong by the way and then after that you have wood uh, as the next tier which can look pretty nice like right here where it eliminates actually this is a perfect example of what eliminates the skirting connection of the home uh, and then you have fiber cement which is a much stronger material weatherproof fireproof material uh, and then that's typically where that top um, level where that top level of skirting is now if you really are in a high-end area and want to spend more some people for some of these homes that we're building now we're also doing a fox i never know how to pronounce that fox rock material that is on only on the fascia of the home caveat um the flaw to that is it's very expensive but in expensive areas like mountain view sunnyvale california it makes sense for people to update their front skirting to make it look a bit nicer and it does add a bit of uh, appeal to the home so hopefully that was very helpful for you guys how mobile homes uh how mobile home skirting works the different concepts of mobile home skirting if you ever have questions on how this skirting works uh, feel free to reach out to us via text or email and we'd love to help you guys out we love we also love making content around mobile homes so we value and thank you guys for watching our channel Please subscribe if you like our stuff and thanks. Take care. Bye.